gotta admit. Another marijuana stick fell from the sky. Oh, more marijuana. Don't be fooled by the marijuana smoke. It's legal for this famous Venice Beach artist, known around the world as Enzo or Vincent. His all-black clothing serves as a representation of his popular purposeful art, which adds character to the beach. He's the complete opposite of a mentally ill person. A homeless street artist, though? Happy Halloween. Fuck you. Right on. Come on, get another song. What do you think? Come on, you're ruining my thing here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, listen. You're the college professor, right? Don't need those. And, uh... Medical marijuana. All right. <clears throat> Basically, you're the college professor, right? And I'm the homeless guy, and you're interviewing me. But, in my opinion, I think that I'm more fucking sane than you. You got more issues, you got more to deal with, you've had more to deal with. And you've kept it together, or whatever the deal is, but, you know? I'm more sound. It's kind of like freedom. Absolutely. There's nothing left to lose. Absolutely. A song says that, right? Who's yeah. that, Janis Joplin? Slips. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Yeah. I ain't got shit. With the Fidel Castro supporters screaming in the background, Vincent is unfazed and we go about cleaning the mess that he made from the night before as the man continues to scream. In other countries, people like that explode. You figure in Iraq, a guy running around like that, he'd explode. Oh, that's the kind of stuff I want. What kind of great chance? What kind of compliments do people give you on your art? Wow, it's sick. It's fucked up. Dude. I mean, nothing that's wow, that's good. I never hear that's good. I always hear that's sick. Fucked up. <laughs> you get a lot of artists approaching you, other artists? Uh, yeah. What, and they I'm say the big, same thing? No, no, they, they love my work. I'm a very, I'm a big inspiration of it. Or something, whatever that means. And, the, and when you're a starving artist like you say you are, yeah. how, how, do you, how do you survive every day? By the grace of God. When I look at Vincent, I see a man who's gone through a lot in his life, rejected by society, school, and family. Something in life was missing for this loving soul. Sometimes, we just need someone to tell us it's all right, things will be okay. I wanted to be that person for Vincent, regardless of how well I knew him. Do you want us to leave? No, 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 you guys can stay. You're, uh... We're family now, right? Yeah, you guys are family now. It's pretty funny. And you with the fucking camera. To die of something. You know, so my paints, you know, my paintings can go on and somebody can get rich out of this fucking deal, you know? Maybe if I can get like five, anywhere between five and 15 oh, years be of being nice. rich out of it, nice. and I would probably just go out like a rock star. I figured the best way to get the attention of the crowd would be to, well, uh, dance and make a fool out of myself. I'm not much of a dancer, but I figured if I was in Vincent's present and the gang member that was sitting there at the table, which is his girlfriend, I thought I could open some eyes and grab some attention, so I just went about my business, danced, and uh, yep, made myself look like a fool, but boy was it fun. It's a lot of fun getting to know Enzo. His lifestyle is so different from the mainstream culture. Two o'clock in the morning, we're looking up at the stars, smelling the Pacific Venice Beach Ocean, and it gives me an opportunity to peer into his life and the fun that he has every day, even though he's homeless. Then he's gonna smoke some weed, man. We call this the wake and bake. <laughs> the wake and bake. Yes. How is that weed, Vin? <laughs> the shit that killed us. <coughs>
<laughs> it's the shit that killed who? Elvis? <laughs> I think so. Is it powerful California? Is it really powerful California weed? <coughs> yeah, it is. It's good shit. Let's get a good look at that. I don't think New York's ready to pass marijuana laws yet, but it was interesting to see how Vincent lives his life. In the process. It, it smells. I hope I don't get high just standing here. Is that possible? <laughs> now, I'm not a smoker at all, but dealing with homeless people who smoke marijuana just comes with the territory. Right there. Good California medical bud. That shit's fucking legal, dude. Can I smell it? <coughs> it's, God. it's gonna knock me out. Smell it? Yeah. <coughs> Take it easy, sensitive guy. That dude, I grew up watching these shows. Here we are in Santa Monica, California, early morning hours of Halloween, having fun with none other than Mr. Halloween himself, Enzo. Understand what you say. So, Vin, holidays. What do they? What do they do for holidays here? Well, pick a holiday. Oh, you like, smoke inside. For Christmas. No, outside. What do they do for? Do. What do they do for Christmas here? Hello, this is my French friend. Oh yeah. Yep, that's I Giselle. Say hi to uh, Suffolk Community College. Hi. Hi. Um, what was the question? What do you do for uh, holidays? Pick a holiday. Well, let's say, what do you do for, like, Christmas? Well, last Christmas, um, David, ha David Hasselhoff, you know Knight Rider? Yes. He came here, he dropped off a shitload of stuff for the homeless people. Wow. Oh, there's a lot more to Enzo. Come back with us. Take the journey into his life. Discover who he is, why he's homeless. Take a look at his deep, dark artwork. Both sides of it, the colorful side and the side of the clown.